Mike. Uh, congratulations on the victory. We obviously saw the emotions in there uh, all the way through, even leading up and after the announcement, even with Joe Rogan. So now that the dust is settled, maybe the, the, the nerves are down. What are the emotions after that big win? One of the best moments of my life. You know, my coaches, my team, Tiger Showman's got me so prepared, so hyped for this. You know, I went in there with my back against the wall. I had two losses. It was the last fight on my contract. Madison Square Garden, the biggest card of the year. I had to go out there and make a statement, and I was not going to be denied. Did you feel any sort of nerves leading up to this, giving all that inside Madison Square Garden, sun's on the way, last fight on the contract? How, so were there nerves leading into this? Always. There's nerves before every fight. You know, you're getting locked in there with another dude trying to take your head off. Always going to be nerves. But if you get your mind right, you put your mind in the right mentality and you just go in there and trust yourself and believe that you've put in all the work that you did to get where you're at and go out there and, and do it. It was a good shot of you coming in, entering the arena, and you were yelling to yourself something. What were you yelling? I'm faster. I'm stronger. I'm faster. I'm stronger. And I did not stop saying that until the fight started. In the, right out of the gate, got a double knockdown. Have you, ever, have you ever experienced something like that? Like, he landed the same moment <laughs> as you, and you both dropped. I, I was saying that's going to be like a meme. But thank God it wasn't a double knockout. Um, no, I mean, I've, that's never happened to me. I've never been part of that. But, I mean, it was just a flash knockdown. I just got up and just had to keep going. And he came in pretty wild at times, and Joe Rogan was saying, like, he's pretty square up. He's leaving his chin out there. Even when he clipped you, he would just kind of rush forward. Were you in any sort of danger in there, or do you just see him just coming in crazy like that? No, he clipped me with some shots, but I wasn't hurt. And I guess he thought he hurt me when he started blitzing me a little bit. But I, I was seeing everything. I, I, I was ready. I was just trying to get my feet underneath me so I can land some good shots. And finally, I have to ask about the weight miss. What exactly happened in there? Was it just missed timing or something specific? Yeah, it was – Tough cut, man. I mean, I cut about 13 pounds, and my body just stopped sweating. Like I, the last, like, the hour before the, um, the deadline to weigh in, I only had two pounds left, and I was in the sauna for like a half hour, wraps for 20 minutes, trying to get every minute left, and I only lost like 0.3 pounds. Like, my body wasn't, it just stopped sweating. Finally, I'm assuming you want to return to the UFC after this big win, so when would you like to get back in there? Let's renegotiate and as soon as possible. You know, I, I want to stay active. I, my, beginning of my UFC career, I was injured. You know, I, I, I wasn't as active as I want to be. I fought three times this year. I feel like I'm, I'm just hitting my stride. I'm just coming into my own and I'm young, I'm hungry and I want to keep going. Mike, just at the back here. Um, you spoke a little bit about your mindset going into this one. Of course you had you were coming off of those two losses and all the pressure that you were experiencing on the run-up to, to this weekend. You said about getting your mind right. Have you learned anything about yourself going into this with you know so much against you and that you managed to pull through? I can do anything if I believe in myself. My coaches tell me that all the time. They tell me I'm great. I just got to believe it, and I believed it tonight. And, you know, going off of those, you know, two losses that you were coming off of, did anything change going into this one? Yeah, I never lost twice in my life, ever. So it's been bothering me my entire camp, just the entire time leading up to this fight. That's all I thought about is I'm, I'm not losing again. I mean, it's not happening. But were there any kind of particular changes that you went into this one with? We trained very hard. My coaches put me through a very strict training schedule, and uh, I personally feel like I felt the best I have coming into this fight. Thank you. Mike, to your right. To your right, my man. Uh, you mentioned something about being told no of, with American flag. You want to give us a little details to that? Yeah, so obviously you guys know I always walk out with my American flag cowboy hat. So I had it in the back during weigh-ins, and uh, they came up to me, and they're like, oh, you can't wear this. I was like, what are you talking about? I wear this every single time. It's never an issue. It's not like I'm walking out with a flag because they have that whole thing with, with no flags now. And uh, they told me I couldn't walk out with my American flag. Literally, like right before I was going to come out for the ceremonial weigh-ins, they told me, oh, because it's got a flag on it that I can't wear it. I was like, you're going to take 
my American flag hat off me on Veterans Day. Out of all the days you're going to take it off me, and it's that day. I mean, it must come from the top. You know, I'm not, I'm not blaming any one person, but I think it's a little ridiculous. Thank you. Yep. Just Mike over here. Uh, Mike over here. Uh, he picked up. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, congratulations on the win, by the way. Um, you leave your last fight on your UFC contract on an exciting win, a um, you know a great performance. I uh, this feel gratifying that it will bring the UFC back to the negotiation table and get what you want as far as uh, progressing your uh, UFC career. Absolutely, man. I love it here. I love the UFC. They always treat me great. You know, I I want to keep going. It's awesome. I the, I live for this stuff. You know, that this is what excites me. This is what gets me up and wanting to go to the gym and do all that, just to be able to walk out and to the mecca of stadiums and arenas and perform. Like, this is the, I, I live a great life. I want to keep it going. Congratulations, by the way. And congratulations on the baby in February. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. And, and Mike right here in front of you. Going off of that, I mean, does that, did that change your perspective at all coming into this fight? Maybe light a, a fire knowing that you have a, a child on the way? Absolutely. I don't want my son knowing that his father gave up. Never. You, you talk about, uh, you know, kind of being a free agent or whatever you want to call it. You're fighting out your contract. Your teammate Shane Burgos was kind of a prime example of, like, exploring the market. Is that something that you think you'll do or you think you just want to go right back to the UFC? I love it here. I'll, I'll let my manager do all that. I just want to fight. Thanks. Mike, just a couple more. Uh, other side. Uh, just a few more. Um, have you thought about the moment that you'll get to tell your son and show him clips of you winning inside Madison Square Garden? Oh, if I can't, now I can. <laughs> I mean, I haven't thought of it until now, but, yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> just one quick one. I know, and I wonder if you'll even remember it, because I know when you're deep into a weight cut, especially getting on the scale, things are probably pretty fuzzy. I know after you, you missed, you were muttering something to yourself, almost like you were questioning featherweight. I know you've had plenty of success at 145. When you have those moments, does the idea of coming back in your head is 55, the answer is 55, the answer? And do you remember what you were saying at that moment? Yeah, I think I said, I was like, oh, I don't know about 45, but I don't know. We'll, f we'll figure it out. I just got to go back and maybe tweak my diet a little bit, you know, I got a little bit emotional and I was drained. <laughs> so, you know, and I never miss weight ever. That was the first time I've ever missed weight in my life. And it's unprofessional and it bothers me like crazy. So I'm gonna obviously go back, make changes and it won't happen again. But you definitely wanna stay at 45. Yeah, we'll see, we'll figure it out. I mean, <laughs> the older I get, the harder it gets yeah. to cut weight. So, you know, who knows? Yeah. Congrats on the victory. Thank you.